It, it's tough. It really is. I mean, you, you think, you, you succumb to the fact that you're probably going to lose everything you own. And, and that in itself is tough. And then there's a sort of peace, strange as it may sound, with that. Uh, it's like, okay, then we, we have to start over. Who knows where that will be. So going away for, you know, five days at a time, we didn't know what to expect. You know, then there was a 6.9 earthquake and I didn't even know if my house would be standing. So we came back home and just lots of emotion. Uh, just so happy to see the place still here. Um, I mean, like I said, this is our, our whole life. We put everything that we own into this. We evacuated to Kona and uh, felt so helpless over there. I think it was worse mentally for us than being here. Uh, we're open today, may not have anybody show up and that's okay, we're doing it for the locals that can make it and we're doing it for our sanity. And then Friday morning at three, all hell broke loose and sirens were going off and we didn't know, I didn't know where the eruptions were. Uh, we knew they evacuated within a street of me. So I just decided then, I, with the lack of knowledge, dark out and sirens and everything going on, being told to evacuate, I said, I'm, I'm gonna evacuate now. We, we're rolling with the punches, but you, you never know what's, what's happening. I think it's the, it's the doubt in your mind that makes the, the stress here, that we, tomorrow could, we could be back or we could be, the house gone. I think we have to look, I have my health, I got my house, and it's, it's not the end of the world yet. It's discomfort, but it's two weeks of discomfort. It's, it's disconcerting not being home, um, being, being displaced. Um, I, you know, you know, I'm sleeping on a sofa in a guy's living room. You know, so it would be a lot better if I was home. You know, I have access to my full house. 